Groom files wrongful death suit in fatal DUI crash on wedding night. The South Carolina man who lost his wife just hours after they were married in a devastating car accident has filed a wrongful death suit against the alleged drunk driver and the bars he says overserved her before the horrific smash-up. A Rick Hutchinson, 36, suffered a brain injury and broken bones on April 28th. When a speeding Toyota Camry slammed into the golf cart carrying him and his new wife, Samantha, from their wedding reception, Samantha, 34, died at the scene. Records later showed that Jamie Komorowski, the 25-year-old driver of the Toyota, was over three times the legal blood alcohol limit at the time of the crash. The wrongful death suit filed on Hutchinson's behalf on Wednesday cites Komorowski and several low country bars and restaurants where the plaintiffs alleged she consumed copious amounts of alcohol before the crash, Whiff reported. The documents obtained by the outlet alleged that Komorowski, a former taco eatery waitress, began her booze-filled day of bar hopping at El Gallo Bar and Grill near Daniel Island. Everything you need to know about Sam Hutchinson's tragic death. Who was Sam Hutchinson? The 34-year-old married her husband. Eric, on Friday in a heartwarming wedding that had a tragic ending. Hutchinson was reportedly killed by Jamie Lee Komorowski, an alleged drunk driver, while the bride and groom exited on a golf cart shortly after their wedding reception Friday night. Hutchinson was declared dead at the scene, while her husband was hospitalized with severe injuries. The bride's sister, Mandy Jenkins, recalled it as the best day of the newlywed's life. The groom's mom added, Eric has lost the love of his life. What will happen to Jamie Lee Komorowski? Komorowski, 25, allegedly plowed into the Hutchinson's golf cart while driving around 65 miles per hour, according to Folly Beach Police. The driver reportedly smelled of alcohol, but refused to take a sobriety test. She was charged with three felony DUIs, resulting in great bodily injury or death, and one count of reckless homicide. When asked how she felt on a scale of 1 to 10 with 10 being completely sober, Komorowski allegedly rated herself an 8, WCIV reported. Komorowski was booked under suicide watch after telling an officer she wanted to die, according to WCIV. She is then reported to have driven to the Folly Beach area where she stopped in at least three more establishments that continued to serve her, even though she was noticeably and visibly intoxicated the suit claims. The three other locales named in the lawsuit are Snapper Jacks, the Crab Shack, and the Drop-In. By the end of the night, the suit states, Komorowski was nearly unconscious behind the wheel when she allegedly rear-ended the newlyweds on Ashley Avenue. Komorowski was hurtling 65 miles per hour in a 25 miles per hour speed zone. Previous reports said the force of the impact sent the golf cart flying 100 yards before it finally rolled to a stop. In addition to Samantha's wrongful death, the filing is also an injury suit on behalf of a Rick and the two relatives, including a minor, who were also riding in the golf cart and suffered terrible and permanent injuries. Days before the lawsuit was filed, a Rick still in a wheelchair appeared on Folly Beach for a swim out in honor of his late bride. She would have loved it. He told local news of the emotional event, which took place near the couple's wedding venue. This is Sam. I mean, she's a beach girl through and through. Komorowski, who is originally from New Jersey, has been charged with three felony DUIs, resulting in great bodily injury or harm and one count of reckless homicide. The Coastal Carolina University graduate was reportedly dazed and belligerent at the scene and told first responders that she did nothing wrong before repeatedly asking for her boyfriend. Last week, Komorowski's high-powered attorneys cautioned the public not to rush to judgment in the case. Our court system is founded upon principles of justice and mercy, and that is where all facts will come to light, they said. Shortly after her arrest, Komorowski was allegedly placed on suicide watch. The post has reached out to Komorowski's lawyer and the Hutchinson family's lawyer, 